Jackson here with head men's and women's golf coach Michael Butler in the coach's corner for today. And Coach Butler, your teams have now played their first tournaments of the spring season. And both of them played in locales close to Savannah. Lady Pirates played up in Hilton Head. Armstrong hosted the Armstrong Pirate Invitational. Give us a little bit of a recap of how the Lady Pirates and the Pirates did in their first tournaments this spring. Well, the women's team played at Moss Creek uh, over in Hilton Head. Very tough golf course, um, hosted by Newberry. Got off to a pretty decent start day one. Wind was blowing quite a bit. Um, greens were firm. Uh, played pretty well. Um, tried to play a little bit better the second day. Struggled a little bit with conditions. And it was really, really tough on us. Armstrong men hosted their first tournament of the year, the Pirate Invitational, and for a second straight year, it was Armstrong and Flagler down the stretch. Yeah, we hosted the first AASU Pirate Invitational at Savannah Quarters Country Club. We had a great field. Uh, we had 11 teams, and we managed to finish second. Flagler, they defended their championship. They won again. They played really well coming down the stretch. Unfortunately, we struggled a little bit coming down the stretch, but we did finish second, and the guys had an opportunity to win the tournament, and any time you have a chance to win a tournament, we we'll always feel good about that. Now, who do you think played well, both on the men's and the women's side, coming out of these first two tournaments? Well, on the on the women's side, I think uh, Rebecca Goldman has really stepped up her game. She's She's been low for us in the first two tournaments. She played really well at Keel Island. She played well at at Moss Creek. Her game just seems to really be coming together. And on the men's side, Matt Motes played very consistent, very steady. He shot 71, 71, 71 in, in our last tournament. Played very consistent, had a chance to win the tournament individually. And uh, both of these players are putting the time and effort into their game, and that's why they're playing well. All right, now next the ladies get to host their tournament. It's the mm -hmm. first tournament that you hosted with the women by yourselves. Talk a little bit about the importance of having that women's tournament for your program. I tell you, Chad, our women's team is very excited to be able to host their first event. They um, have a very good feeling about this tournament. They've they've played the golf course quite a bit. We've got a lot of good teams coming in. Uh, they're just so excited to be able to host their own event, stay home, stay in their own bed, and then and then get out and play. Now Armstrong will hit the road to Valdosta to play a perennially a tough field in the Southeastern Collegiate. Talk about the, about the importance of that tournament for regional consideration. Well, Valdosta definitely hosts a great tournament every year. It's a tough, long golf course. The field is going to be made up of teams that are ranked in the top 25 in the nation. We're excited to be invited. We're excited to go. Um, hopefully our team will play well. Uh, we know it's a golf course where we've got to strike the ball very well from tee to green, and then we have to be able to read the greens real well there, too. Now you're literally a month and a half away from hosting the conference tournament. Talk just a brief moment about what you like to see from your teams from this point on heading towards those conference tournaments. Well, I think on the women's side, the tournament that's coming up next week is, is really going to kind of tell us where we stand in the conference. We've got UNC Pembroke coming. We have Flagler coming to the event. Um, it's going to really set the tone where we stand in, this, in, in, the, in the conference. I think with the men, um, this was a great test this past week. We were able to see how we played the golf course, how we scored on the golf course, how the golf course played. Uh, the men will have played uh, two regular season tournaments at Savannah Quarters Country Club, and the women will have played one. So we're excited about hosting the conference championship. We're looking forward to it. Um, there's a lot of good teams, men and women, that are playing well at this time. So it should be an interesting tournament. All right, Armstrong Atlantic will host the Lady Pirate Invitational a week and a half from now. And remember that the Peach Bowl Conference Golf Tournament at Savannah Quarters comes your way on April 10th and 11th. Coach Butler, thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you again soon.